In this video, I will show you how to pull data from the server. So let's imagine that somebody else from your team did some implementation, some changes pushed to the server, and now you need to get this data for your local repository and synchronize your changes with his. So right now for demo, we will open our song txt. And here in GitHub, we can edit this file. So let's go to edit and add another line of our song. So let's add one new line and uh, here we need the left comment commit changes. It's what we changed and uh, use the email. Right now it's this one and uh, now we can commit our changes. Commit it and when we go to the basic main page, we see that here we have three commits. Let's go to our repository, local repository and uh, check git log. And here we can see that we have just two commits and it's okay to, because we didn't synchronize our repositories. So we have three commits on remote repository on GitHub and just two commits here locally. So in GitHub, there is a command which calls git fetch, which will synchronize your repositories, but it will synchronize just branches and tags and it will not change the content of your files. To do it, there is a command uh, git merge but we can simplify our work and combine these two commas with one command it calls git pull. So let's call git pull and we will pull data from a remote repository. Let's call it. And here we can see that uh, was changed one file song.txt and something was added. So we can open this file and uh, see what was added there. And now we can see that we have one more line, line added to this file. And if we check git log, we see that uh, we have this comment in this commit that added new line and it was added by Maxim. So we have all synchronized files in our local repository.